Hi Year 3, hope you're all okay. Today you're joining me for maths. So we're going to warm our brains up with our starter. So question 1, I want you to finish off my number sequence. 27, 37, 57. Think about what the missing number is. Question 2, 3 add 3 add 3 equals, or it's the same as, something times 3. Question 3, something equals 8 add 6 add 2 and your last question for our warm-up today is 638 add 20 equals I want you to pause the video and have a go at those now off you go right then how did you get on let's mark together you can give yours a tick if you got them right first one count with me 27 37 47, brilliant. 47, 57, excellent. What's it going up in? That's right, it's going up in tens. We can see the ones digit isn't changing, but the tens is, okay? So it's going up in tens. Question two, three add three add three equals three times three, well done. It is three groups of three. These are all equal groups of three. Three groups of three equals. I also know that both sides balance to nine. At equals means that it's the same on both sides. So if this side equals nine, this side also has to equal nine. Right then, question three. Hmm, what did we get here? Let's have a look at a strategy. What strategy did you use? This is what I did. I used my number bond to ten. I could see eight add two made ten. Add my 6 gave me the answer of 16. Is that a strategy that you used? It works well when we know our number bonds. That's why it's important we keep practising. Next question. Let's see if we could do this one mentally. 638 add 20. Hmm. We're adding 20 to it, which is two tens. So if our ones digit isn't going to change. We know we're going to have 8 in our ones digit. Three tens, but we're adding two tens to it, so we know that it's going to have now five tens. And in this case, our hundreds hasn't changed, so we've got the answer of 658. Give them a tick if you've got them right. Well done. Right then, year three. For maths today, we're going to add coins to find an amount. So the first thing I'd like you to do is go and get the resources you'll need for this lesson. You're going to need something to write with, a pencil, uh, something to write on, or in, maybe one of your yellow books that we sent home, and I'd like you to go and find some coins from around your house. So, I've written down the coins that I'd like you to find. See if you can find more than of one of each. So, 1p, 2p, 5p, 10p, 20p, 50p, £1, £2. Pause the video now and go and see what coins you can find around your home and bring them to where you're working. I'll go and do the same. See you in a few minutes. Right then, welcome back. So, hopefully you've gone and got your coins. I've done the same. Um, what I've done is I have matched them with the amount. So I can see that this is a 10 pence coin, so I put it under 10p. This is a 2 pence coin, I put it under 2p as well. You'll notice that I've written my coins in different colours. Why do you think I've done that? Have a look at your coins carefully. If you've looked carefully, you might notice that we have our 1p and our 2p and we often say that those are our coppers. So I've done them in a different colour. Then we have our coins which are a silver colour. So I've done them in red. And then we've got our £1 and £2 coins and I've done those in green. Just to show that I really understand my coins. So we're going to start with a check to begin with. How many ways can you make £1? Now this is my £1 coin here. But I could use some of the other coins to make a pound as well. Now I might need to use some of the coins more than once. I'll start you off. I know 50 add 50 makes 100. So I know 50p add 50p makes 100 pennies, which is the same as a pound. So I'm going to put you a tip down here. One pound or one pound coin equals, and I'm going to put my equal sign there, 100 pennies. So 100 pennies is the same as a one pound. See if you can use that to help yourself with our checkpoint. 
How many ways can you make a one pound? Pause the video, off you go. Right then year three, let's see how you got on. We're trying to make the value of one pound. So I'm going to put my pound here. Now I know I told you already that 50p, add 50p, makes 100 pennies, which we know is the same as our pound. So we've got 50p, add 50p, is the same value as this pound coin here. What other strategies did you use to add your coins together? Did you use your mental math skills? That's what I've had to do. Let's start again with a 50p. Mm. We want our whole grow to add to 100 pennies. What can we add to 50p to get to a pound? Let's try adding 20p. 50p, add 20. I know is 70 pence. Mm, let's have a think, what else can we add? Let's add another 20p. 70p, 80p, 90p. So this row at the moment is worth 90 pence. Is that the same as a pound? No, not yet. So if we've got 90 pence, what other coin could we add to make a pound? That's right, we can add a 10p. So again, we found another way to make our pound. I'm sure you've come up with lots of ways to make your pound coin. Ask your grown-up to check. Although this uses four coins, it's still the same value as this pound here. Did anyone find a strategy or a method using five coins to make their pound? I did. Do you want to see? I started with this coin here, 20p, and I used my knowledge of the two times table to help me with my knowledge of the 20 times table. Let's count in 20s together. Are you ready? 20, 40, 60, 80, oh, there's another, oh, there's one, 100. I've shown 100 pennies, that's one pound. I've used five 20p's. Year three, what coin is this? That's right, it's a one pence piece. How many of these coins would I need to make a pound? How many would I need? That's right, if I had a hundred of these, it would be exactly the same as a one pound coin. Oh, what about this one? What coin is this? That's right, it's a two pence piece. How many of these would I need to make a pound? That's right, 50. If I had 50 of these, it would be exactly the same as having the same value of a pound coin. So 52 pence pieces would give me the same amount as this one pound coin. Why do you think we're learning about money today, year three? What's the big picture? Well, we need to be able to use money correctly to buy items. Sometimes items might be of a larger value and more expensive. Sometimes an item might be of a lesser value and therefore you want to pay with coins. Sometimes it's good to give the shopkeeper the exact amount of money that you are spending. Otherwise you'd expect change if you pay too much. We're going to learn about change next week, but today we're going to add our coins together to find a total amount. Right, Year 3, this is our first activity. This is a my turn. I'm trying to make 36p using the coins I have available. First of all, I'm going to split my number into 30 and 6 to look to make my 6 pence first. I can see that this is a 10 pence coin, but... The value of 10p is bigger than the value of 6p, so that won't work. Oh, I have 5 pence here. I'm going to put my 5 pence by my 6 here. Oh, there's a penny. 5 pence add 1 pence makes my 6 pence. So I've got 6 pence. Now I need to make this number here the 3. But it's not 3, it's 30, because the number is 36. It's 3 tens. Hmm, 3 tens. I have one 10 here, but that doesn't make 30. What if I try and add in 50 to it? 10 and 50 make 60. That's too much. Put my 50p back. Let's try this 20p. 10p add 20p makes 30 pence. 
So I've made my 36 pence by using my four coins. Let's have a go at another one. I'm going to jumble up the coins to see if we can make a different amount. Right, year three, this is our next one. 68 pence. We've got a pound, a 50p, a 10p, a 20p, two pence, five pence, one p, one p. Which coins shall we use? Let's remember we're making 68 pence. Let's try and make our eight pence first. Hmm. What if we have a two pence here? Mm, that's still not enough to make 8p. Let's have a look. What other coins can we add to it, year three? That's right. Let's try adding a 5p. Two add five is seven. Oh, we're not there yet. We need eight pence. What can we do? That's right. We can add another penny to it, can't we? So two add five add one makes eight p. So we've made our eight of our 68p. We've got our 60p to make next. Let's have a look. What coin should we use? Should we use this pound? No, the pound is a larger value. That's 100 pence. That's too much for a 60 pence. What coin should we use? That's right, we can use 50 pence and 10 pence to make our 60 pence all together. And then all oh, with our coins, we've made our 68 pence. Brilliant job. Let's have a go at this one together. This one looks different. Let's read it together. Two pound 16. You'll notice there's no pence sign here. We don't need it because we have a pound sign which shows us the value of our amount. Two pound 16. Let's see if we can work together to work out which coins we can use to make this amount. Pause the video first to have a go. Let's check together. This is how I made my £2.16. For my 16 pence, I used a 10p, a 5p and a 1p. 10 add 5 is 15, add 1 is 16 pence. For my £2, I noticed that we had a pound coin, but we didn't have a second £1 coin, so I had to make it. So I've used a 50p, another 20, a 20 and a 10 to make another pound. So we have two pound, 16 pence. Did you find a different way to make the same amount? In order to be successful with today's lesson, it's really important that you feel confident with identifying your coins. If this is something you think you need more practice on, listen carefully for our game. I've got a selection of coins down here. I've got one of each. I'm going to cover them up and take one away. Can you work out which one's missing? Let's have a go. Let's have a look. Can you work it out? Which coin is gone? That's right. It was the 10 piece that I took. You can have a go at playing that game with your family members. You might want to mix the coins up. You can have a go at losing different values. Be creative. Make sure you're confident with the coins and recognizing the value of each one. The next important part for your steps to success is, when you're making your amounts, have a think. If my amount is £3.28, break it up to make it easy for yourself. Think about the coins that you need to use to make 28p. Think about the coins you need to make for £3. If you're chilly one today, I want you to think about which coins you're going to use to make these three amounts. Your challenge is, can you find more than one way of making the same amount? How many ways can you find? Chili 2, I'd also like you to find out which coins you will need, but your amounts are over the value of a pound. Number 1, £1.33. Number 2, £2.89. Number 3, £8.62. Find three ways to make each amount. Your challenge. I have two silver coins and three copper coins. What is the least and most I could have? You might need to explore with your coins to find that one out. Chili three, this is your challenge. Which coins do I need? All of your values are greater than five pound. Number one, five pound 99. Two, £6.84. Number three, £9.73. 
Find three ways to make each amount. Challenge. I have five silver coins. I can make 40 pence with three coins. I can also make 75 pence with three coins. How much money do I have? How did you get on? Right, it's difficult to mark these because I've asked you to find different ways and different coins to use to make your amounts. So I'm going to ask you to speak to your grown-up in the house and ask them to give it a quick mark for you. In a minute, we'll have a look at our challenges to see how you got on with those. A massive well done to everybody who's had a go at TT Rockstars and My Maths. The children who have had the most coins this week go to Tyler, Riley, Erin and Izzy. Keep up the great job, everyone.